In radiation, we have sterilizing radiation. One, ionizing radiation, and two, non-ionizing radiation. So one, we have ionizing radiation, which is gamma rays, x-rays, and put this in here. High energy electron beam. For non-ionizing radiation, it's UV light. Now, UV light can damage the DNA by forming bonds between adjacent pyrimidine bases. Two thymine bases inhibit the DNA correction during replication, and they're not very penetrating. This is the study time session of the video. We're going to start here with radiation. Now with sterilizing radiation, there are two types, ionizing and non-ionizing. So here we're going to use the I, well let's, let's use this I for ionizing. And we're going to use the N for non-ionizing. Now here I have ionizing and non-ionizing. Under ionizing, we have gamma rays, x-rays, and high energy electron beams. So we're going to use the G for gamma rays. So we have gamma rays under ionizing. We also have x-rays, we're going to use a different color, x-rays, and then we have, and we're going to use the N for energy, high energy electron beam, electron, high energy, Okay, so with ionizing, we have gamma rays, we have x-rays, and we have high energy electron beam. Now with non-ionizing, it's UV light. So here, we're going to use the I for light. And we're going to put UV. So for non-ionizing, we have the I for UV light. It's time to test your knowledge. So I'll ask you a few questions, starting with question number one. What are the two types of sterilizing radiation? The second question. What are the three examples of ionizing radiation? And the last question. Give me an example of a non-ionizing radiation. Hey my rockers, thanks for studying with me. I want to let you know before you go that I do have a microbiology study program. Now this program is designed to be interactive, repetitive, so that you can remember the material so much better. 
I also, with every video, have worksheets to help you study along the way. So if you have any questions about the program or you just want a uh, one of the worksheets or more, feel free to email me. My email is in my description box below. Thanks again for watching and studying microbiology, and I will see you in the next one.